Okay, folks, we're going to continue on with our thermometer uh, example here. The next thing I'd like to do is uh, possibly uh, you might want to have a tag that displays on the screen when, say, the temperature is between 70 and 80. You want it to say it's cool in here. When it's between 80 and 90, it's getting it's warm. And if it's above 90, you want it to be hot. You want something on the screen that basically says those three things. It's cool when it's from 70 to 80. 80 to 90 it's warm and anything above 90 you want it to be hot so this is going to entail using what we call a multi tag to do this and I'm going to go over to the left and click on data tags on the left side and what I'm going to do I'm going to create another integer tag so I'm going to click right here another new tag here and you see it's blue right now in essence this tag here is going to be linked to the temperature tag but it's going to show up on the screen as this text wording, not just uh, the value. So let's see, if I wanted to, uh, let's see, how could I call this temp? Uh, uh, let's just call this uh, uh, tag. Whoops, I can't spell our tag. Ah. Multi. I'm going to call it tag underscore multi underscore text. Let's do that. Tag underscore multi text that's all I called it now this is gonna be weird but again I'm gonna make this tag equal to this one so watch this trick I'm gonna click on the data tab for that guy I'm currently looking at this one clicking on the data tab here okay then if I go over here to the right side and over here on the right side simply grab the tag called temperature over here on the right side drag and drop it right here on the word internal boom look what happened this tag went from being blue to yellow because it became a formula tag in essence equal to this value here okay now if I go to the format tab for that guy go to the format tab and if I come down here to the format type general this time I'm gonna hit the pick here and instead of doing the numeric like we've done before we're gonna slide down below here and go to multi-state and then click OK and now you're going to get the definition for different states however because this is a tag that I want to go over a series of ranges of number I don't want the match type to be discrete I want it to be arranged so I'll hit the pull down here and choose ranged and you're gonna see you by default there's three you can have uh, I don't know if it's 85 or 100 states but lots of different states but basically down here you're gonna put in the format state so if I put in here right now let's say 700 which is the same as 70.0 and over here where it says text I'm gonna just type the word cool because I said above 70 to 80 is gonna be the value cool and then if I go down here anything above 80 or 800 I'm gonna put the word warm in here for instance and then anything above 90 or 900 over here I'm gonna put in the the word hot now that's going to be just the text, but maybe I'd also like the color of this guy to change as well. So I'm going to go to the Colors tab here, click on the Colors tab, and down here where it says Color Type General, hit the Pick button right here. And we're going to come down, once again, we're going to select this time again a multi-state tag for color. Click OK. Once again, you can see here, we're going to change this, not a discrete, but we want this to be a range of values. We're going to be the same range we just made, so I'm going to put here 700. Anything above 700, um, you see here, this is actually the foreground column. This is the background color. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make everything follow the foreground color. So I'm going to make, uh, when I'm in this range of 700, I'll be the text, I'll be lime. Then if I go over here, I'll put 800. Anything above that, maybe I'll go to the yellow state. And then here, 900 anything above that I will go to the red state now this section right here is the default color so if I'm below 700 right now the way this is working this is how it would show up and the same would go back at the format tag format tab I'm sorry uh, I don't have anything here but if I put in here default I could put not ah. I'll do not define state like that so let's go put this on the screen. We're going to go over to the left, click display pages on the left. And I'm just going to put that little text right here. But I just want to see the value of the tag, not the name of the tag. So I'm going to go over to the right side, click data tags on the right side. 
I'm going to grab the multi-text tag and I'll drag it out like so. I'll drag it down here like this. However, I just want to see the value, not the text name or the tag of the, the, the name of the tag. So if I right click on it, go to properties, right here where it says label and data, just like we did earlier for the temperature value, I'm going to go data value. Now you can see not defined state here. But we did all that work on the colors as well. So I'm going to check right here and tell it to get the colors from the tag. So you can see right there, it gets the colors from the tag. I'm going to actually make a change here. I want just to show the foreground color. So I will uncheck this in that case. And I'll go to the colors tab here. And there it shows up there. That's all correct. Uh, let me go back to this here. We'll check that. We'll see what happens. Let's leave that alone. We'll click OK. I'll make this box a little bigger. You know what, folks? I'm going to go change the background color to be all white since I'm doing this from the tag. So I'll go over here to Data Tags. I'll go to the Colors tab, and I'm going to change the background here to be white on all these here. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, put that on the screen. I'll go ahead and download it, and let's see what happens here. Look at the web page. Here we go. And you know what? If you look at my example right now, I, I don't know if I like that because the warm with the white background is really hard to see. If I go above, the hot shows up, and I bet the green will. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go back to the tag, data tags over here, and I'm going to, I actually am going to change this a little bit. I'll choose this as the black for the background. That one should be okay there. This should be okay here. Let's go try this. See if this shows up a little better. I'll go down here to the web browser here. So you can see now the warm shows up with a different background and then the hot. And of course if I put a piece of ice cube on here, I should be able to take it down to cool. And there's the word cool as you see and then it's going to rise. So that just shows you how to add color and other text wording to a multi-tag. Thanks.